Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in today's video we're going to dive right in and we're going to go through all the different bidding strategies that are offered in AdWords and our experiences with each of them and how you can avoid getting crushed by setting them up incorrectly. And trust us, we've been there, it has happened and we're going to show you how to avoid it. Alright, let's get to it. All right, so you should be in your AdWords homepage here. Go to your campaign overview homepage, and we're going to go look at the bidding strategies, and I'm going to walk you through them. So simply come over here to your navigation, go down to settings, and you're going to see here we got this little settings block, bidding. As you can see this campaign, we got manual CPC, which means I'm switching the bids up. Let's change bidding strategy. You're going to see all the different ones. So let's start right from the top. Target CPA. You can see here it sets bids to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal. So you set the goal. So if you clicked on this, you'd say you'd set what you want to pay per lead. Okay? And AdWords will figure out all the complex bidding strategies in the background. And they'll send you leads based on what you set here. And it's usually pretty close. Like if you set it for $25, say, you'll get You'll get tar you'll get the leads in between basically 25 and 35 somewhere in that wheelhouse. It's you got to be careful though because you could if if you set if you set your target CPA too low, you're not going to get leads or you'll get very few, and it can be not effective. So you got to be realistic with it. So that's the target CPA. It's pretty simple stuff. This is target return on ad spend. So as you can see here, it sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your target return on ad spend. So that's what it stands for, return on ad spend. So it's the same deal. How much do you want to get? Your, what's your target return on ad spend you want to get? 50%, 100%, whatever. Then Google will use its algorithms, go behind the scenes, and do will calculate all your bids and auto bid for you to get that target for you. Same deal as target CPA. You've got to be careful with it. If you're too low, you're going to get no leads and just spend money. So just something to keep an eye out for. Maximize clicks. This is something we use a lot and when it first came out we misused it I should say and we got screwed it, because you gotta be careful. So it sets bids to help you get the most clicks within your budget as you can see here. So you set it. <clears throat> now this is what we did not do the first time we did it. Maximize, ma I'm sorry, maximum CPC bid limit. So let's say you're in the roofing niche, you want to set a bid limit because you'll Google will bid $150 for a keyword and you'll pay it. And if you don't get a lead, you're screwed. So we always set it for something like 33 bucks or something like that. So before when we weren't using it, we were getting crushed. And as soon as we started using this, it, it's smooth sailing, works great. And it same thing, it uses algorithms, auto bids, and gets you where you need to be. Um, just don't ever use it without setting this, trust me. Okay. Maximize conversions. So this basically, it just it, if it, you need you need to have a campaign that's already had a lot of conversion data. I believe it's twenty at minimum twenty conversions in the last thirty days, and it it basically takes your 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 conversion data history, and it will bid auto bid for you to drive as many conversions as possible within your ad budget. But again, you got to be careful with this, and you need to only use it on a campaign that has a rich history of conversions. So if you got like a, like say you're like a health insurance guy or a, or a roofer or a limousine company, and you get like hundreds of leads a month, this would be great for you, and it, it will definitely lower your cost per lead, at least from what we've seen. So that's a pretty cool strategy. So target search page location. This sets bids. You can see here it sets bids to help you with your ads at the top of the page or in the first page of search results. This is something that you want to set up. So you can either choose the top of the top of the page or anywhere in the first results page. If you choose this, you're probably going to be on the bottom and you might as well be on page 197. You're not going to get seen. So we always whenever we use a strategy, we use the top of the first page results. And that's kind of like the only way to do it. And then you do we do a bit adjustment, so we do top of the page results and then we do like a a plus 23% bid adjustment to kind of give us that big push in a number two spot, number two, number three. Target outranking share. So this is basically for big branding campaigns. Um, basically, you can put in the domain of your competitors and you can say, I don't ever want to be below this guy. 
or above this guy or whatever you want to do, and then Google will make sure your ad is always where you want it to be. That's pretty much it. Enhance CPC, just kind of you know adjust your bids manually up and down, increase conversions based on. So basically, it's manual PPC, but you have enhanced setup. Google will say, all right, well he's manual bidding, but this keyword is driving you know a ton of a ton of conversions, and he's not adjusting the bids to get more conversions. So we're just going to auto take it over for you, and we'll just up it a little bit and um, get you more conversions. So that's pretty much all it is. And this is manual CPC. Obviously, it's just you flying stick. And this is kind of one of my favorites because I control everything. And I'm kind of like a, a freak about that. So I like to have all the bids under my control. This and maximize clicks are pretty much the only ones to really mess with. Target CPA can be good if you have a big budget. For these kind of bidding strategies, you got to have a big budget. And I mean like hundreds of dollars a day. Over 400, 300. You can, I mean, 200, I guess 200 and above, I would say, for these kind of campaigns. It really depends on um, what niche you're in and all kinds of different factors, locations and stuff like that. But you need a you need to have a lot of uh, runway, pretty much. All right. So let me know in the comments what bid strategy is your favorite and what you've seen success with. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and we drop some links in the description. Make sure you check those out, and I'll see you in the next video.